Eh, I figured I'd get this out of the way. In 2005, there was Fantastic Four. I think it was the first one, one they did. It starred some guy as Mr. Fantastic, Chris Evans as, Cap as Human Torch. Eh, but don't worry, we'll see him. Don't worry, we'll forgive him in Captain America trilogy. Winter Soldier is awesome. It's way better than Civil War. But then again, Civil War is pretty cool. I'm pretty split about those two movies. So. And we got Jessica Alba as the Invisible Woman. I can think of two reasons why. That would be pretty cool. And Mike, Michael Chiklis as The Thing. To be honest, that's a good role. Then a two sequels. Well, the sequel was forgettable. Moving on. And then ten years later, later, some jackass at Fox said, Hey, let's reboot Fantastic Four. And hire the guy who directed Chronicle. That's perfect, right? What can go wrong? Two years later, it sucked. It blew. Okay, it wasn't it wasn't Josh Trank's fault. Because here's the thing, thing Josh Trank had originally had a different version of Fantastic Four. Fox said no, do our version. Fox really fucked up. Yeah, it really fucked up the franchise. How could Marvel's first family not get it right when it comes to these movies? I mean, video games, they don't even do it right, but for movies, they can't do it right. Heck, here are the problems with the new one had. The, ca the cast. Some of them are not even that great. I mean, they're probably good actors. They probably acted in better movies and TV shows, but... There's, it just sounds like they're phoning it in in the new one. Even Michael P. Jordan, who was in Chronicle, is in it, and he's a Human Torch. Okay, I, I I have nothing against him being the Human Torch. I'm not being racist or anything, thing. But I don't know. It just wasn't him. I mean, granted, he was in Creed. That was a good movie, by the way. No, I mean, I forgive him in that. And I don't know who the actor was playing the thing, but. I mean, this, the thing was CGI, but he didn't sound like a thing. A thing. The thing had a Brooklyn accent. I mean, look at Michael Chiklis. He had a Brooklyn accent, even though he didn't look like, like the thing. He just looked like some guy wearing a Halloween costume. That's what he was. A guy in a Halloween costume, I think. It just looked like the, it. And as for the new one, one... Basically, all they do is just film in dark rooms. First off, if I want to see a dark room, I wear. Why do I want to see? There should be. It. I swear to God, the rooms were so dark. I could almost see their eyelids. You know, like in a cartoon, you see. There's nothing but pitch black, but then you see the character's eyes in the dark. Where have I seen that before? Where a whole episode took place in the dark. Oh, that's right, an episode of Fairly Odd Parents. I haven't seen it. I all right. Yeah, we're 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 Cosmo Wanda said said that something about bullshit. I don't know. Something about turning the monsters into about sunlight light or something. It was really bad. But anyway, let's get back to the review on Fantastic Four. What else? Uh, what else? Uh, let's see. Oh, now I remember. It takes them an hour to get their powers. Really? That's too long. Batman got it. Don't you see how get their powers like around 15, 20, or th before the 30 minute mark? Mark. But you guys took an hour? What were you doing? Talking in the dark? I mean, seriously. Then we get down to Victor Von Doom. Doom. Yep, not the Dooms in this one. Don't be wrong, he's a powerful villain, but I'm going to show you guys what he looks like. Give me a minute. Victor Von. You're not going to like this. Behold, Victor Von Doom. Yep, Marvel just did the did the same thing they did Deadpool. So his mouth shut, but you can hear him talk. He looks like C-3PO locked down Darth Vader as a sex doll. 
Yeah, that's pretty disturbing when you think about that. Oh, a funny thing. You know Reese teacher in the beginning? Guess who? Try and guess who the voice actor the actor is. Is no, really. I want you to guess. Basically, I'll give you some clues. It's been, it's been on Fox for more than twenty years. Years, and well, I'm gonna say about the character is. He had over a hundred and eighty jobs. If you give give up, it was Homer Simpson. Yep, the voice actor be up Homer Simpson starting that piece of shit. Oh come on, Homer, you're better than this. You could have had Seth MacFarlane. You could at least have the voice of ten do the teacher. At least that'd be fu- at least funny. Bring it, throw in a Ted. I think that would be pretty bad. But funny thing, thing, thing. There's barely any action in this movie. It's like the old ones. At least they did get some action. Uh, but this one doesn't. It's just them talking in dark rooms. And funny thing, thing. You see the thing, thing, reveal. But in the next scene, they shroud him in darkness. I think the editing guy mixed up the scenes or something. Like, for example, the thing's supposed to be a dark room, but then you see what he has become. Oh, yeah, by the way, he doesn't wear any pants. Yeah. Oh, man, I just put that image in my head. I'm sorry for putting that art, the, the image of the things crotching your, your heads, guys. I'm truly sorry. Let's not think about this. Oh. But let me tell you about the fight scene. It's about five minutes long. Oh, come on, Marvel. You're better than this. Your fight scenes are supposed to be more epic. Awesome. Look at the Avengers. Take notes from those guys. I mean, it's dead. You just got a fox. But they're owned by Disney. Avengers are owned by Disney. Disney. It's, it's really apples and oranges here. Here. I mean, the fight scene lasts for like five minutes. And the thing just fucked up his own line. I mean, I mean because it's clobbering time. Which he got from his abusive brother. Strange. It just says, it's clobbering time. No, the thing's, this is how the thing says, it's clobbering time. That's. What's the best thing of Michael Chiklis? He had a Brooklyn accent, like I said before. It's just the opposite here. Real? 2005? Real. Shady looking thing? Brooklyn accent. 2015? Real thing? No Brooklyn accent. But let me tell you something. This movie sucked. And if I think, they don't even use their names. It says, it says Reed Richards... Johnny Storm, Susan Storm, and Ben Grimm. Yep, they don't even use their superhero names. It's like having this Justice League in it. All you... League and... Instead of using Superman, Wonder Woman, or Fl- Flash, or Batman, you just hear him say, Clark, we need your help. Help. I'm on it, Bruce. That'd be really ba- bad. That just... <sighs> Fox, you're really fucked up. But let me tell you something. I'm about to tell you... You guys, the real, back, the real Fantastic Four that we should have gotten, what we never got, that Josh Trank tried to give us, but Fox shot it down. But after this, do you want to, wait, I'm going to tell you the, but I'm going to tell you this. You guys ready to hear the real Fantastic Four? I dug some research. And found that when when Josh Trank wanted to do his version, in his version, Victor Von Doom, or Doctor Doom, wouldn't be the villain. Yep, that's right. A Fantastic Four movie where Doctor Doom isn't the villain? That could be great! Don't get me wrong, he's a great villain, but out of three movies of him being a villain, can we at least get another villain? I mean, if they reboot the Avengers, Loki... It would probably be an Arfa villain. I don't want to see Loki again. But 
Hey, even they do have Loki sm- being smashed by Hulk. <laughs> That's hilarious. It still wouldn't be like, original would be better. You, who could be the, the main villain? The Mole Man. I have no idea who he is. Just a, probably a guy. Heck, it would probably be Hans Mole Man for The Simpsons. Don't know who he is. Oh, I should tell you where they got their powers from. Not from space like they did in, in the comic books and probably the original, the last movie, but from pl- a planet called Planet Zero. Or you comic book fans call it the neg- negative zone. Okay, I did my research on the negative zone, and you know what? Why can't we get a nihilist as a villain? I mean, it makes sense. A nihilist is the leader of the negative zone, or something. I barely do remember. I don't remember that much about comic books. Why can't he just be the villain in that? But anyway, back to the original script. Victor Von Doom was supposed to be the is in the movie too, but not, but just Victor Von Doom. Yeah, they're about to do the same thing with they did Dr. Connors in the original Spider-Man trilogy. Just Dr. Connors, no lizard. Yeah, it could have been better. We could have gotten the Fantastic Car, which is a hover, hover car. Yeah, I know. A hover car. That could have been cool. Oh, and the thing originally had an action scene. You saw in the trailer, the thing's Jumps out of the plane, just crashes down, and gets a serious look. That was supposed to be in the movie, but Fox said, nope. Eh, it's too awesome. People are going to like it. It's going to be the highlight of the movie. Let's just cut it. Let's just cut it out. Ugh, Fox. You mean... How can you describe... It sucked. Sucked. Fox, here's what you should do. Give the rights of Fantastic Four back to Marvel. Just stick to X-Men. And Deadpool. At least you got Deadpool right. For the first time. Time. You know Fox? It, how can I sum up Fantastic Four in a few, in a few words? I could I couldn't agree I couldn't agree more, Charles Heston. See you next time. And by the way, wait, wait, wait. The next review won't be a movie. It might be a certain guy that Mister Fredder and has been critiquing his story. I'm gonna re- review Dimensions One Hundred One, Cartoon Master Tristan Campbell. You're in jail, and I'm not going to go easy on you.